I took that like a champ. Did you see that turn? That was great. If I keep this up, I'm going to catch up in no time. Oh, yeah. Hello again, YouTube. This is Beanie Bum, and welcome back to Next Car Game. But, oh, no, this isn't just the sandbox of destruction and awesomeness that you saw in my last video. This is... It's actually a freaking game. Like, I'm gonna be racing people, and there's different cars. I just installed this now because I had pre-ordered it, and I got the Steam key for $25 for when the game was out on Steam. And it is out on Steam now, and oh my gosh, it looks amazing. Now it's $30, and I recommend you buy it now because the price is just gonna keep on getting higher. Uh, but I am going to be using this little car because it's super cute, and I'm gonna edit it because you can actually do stuff. Test drive, sell car, said his favorite. Oh, well, I think you can, uh, you can add, like, wheels and stuff once you see up here is the market and, like, research social menu. So there's, like, this is gonna be a thing. This is gonna be, like, an actual freaking game. Let's put that down to 11, please. Thanks very much. Okay, shifting, automatic, please. Traction control, full, off. What? I don't know what this is. Anti-spin, full... Off, please. <laughs> Traction control, ABS. I don't know what all this is, so we'll just put it on full, shall we? Oh my gosh, I'm really excited for this. this. This is like an actual game, and I'm even more hyped for this game, just like from the tech demo, and also for the fact that it's created by the guys who made Flat Out, and Flat Out is like one of my favorite racing series of all time. Flat Out and Motor Storm. But then Motor Storm, like, Motor Storm got better, but they progressively added more and more motion blur. So it's like, <laughs> this is a pretty game, and it works really well, but I can't even see it. Kind of a long loading screen. All right, let's jump cut to when it's the actual game. All righty, we are here, and we are playing a derby, it seems. Oh, man, it's a derby stadium. I don't know how to change the modes, but I think derby is perfect right now. I don't even, like, freaking care. Let's go to my little car. What? Where are you? What? Nope, nope. Okay, let's just start. All right, I didn't, I don't think I chose the right car for this because I'm playing as a little cute bug car, but I'm going to destroy folks as well. And it looks like it runs even better than the freaking, um, the pre-alpha, the, the, the tech test, the tech sneak peek. It looks like it runs even better somehow. I don't know how that's possible, but it does. <laughs> oh, this is amazing. Just pure destruction. I've got the settings maxed out. Um, YouTube doesn't do video justice though. Um, if you can see in the bottom left, they actually put a little damage scouter, which is awesome. I think that's really cool to let you know, like, what's freaking destroyed and whatnot. My right, uh, front tire is just gone at this point. <laughs> so it's making driving hard. And I love how the, uh, the, the damage isn't just, like, cosmetic in this game. They actually use cars and technology and frames and stuff. Everything is... Everything everything is a, a thing. It's a solid thing. That's breakable and it works like how it should in real life And it's it's just Magna Florius. That's the only word that can describe this game Nerd cubed actually said something that was great about this that I, I totally agree with he said it was like you know how in uh, E3 the developers of games always have their games like 18 times better looking and, and better playing than they actually are on release it, this game is the E3 version of those games. <laughs> That's what he says. And it's totally true, because this is just amazing. Uh-oh, uh uh-oh, gosh. Look it, I am totally wrecked. I wonder if I'm gonna, like, die soon. Uh, I forget how you... Oh, shift! Awesome, that's how you invert the camera. Oh my gee! <laughs> Look at the freaking front of my car! I am totally, like, dead. How am I still driving? This is crazy. Let's see, there's three opponents left. I think it's just a matter of finding them because I can't move anymore. Oh, like this guy. See, I'm still relatively drivable, actually, though. It's, like, <laughs> surprising me. Barely, though. I can, like, not turn anymore. It's just something that I can't do. Die! Take down! Heck yeah! A light, gentle love tap. Oh, uh, he was ready to go any second, and I was just the catalyst for his demise. Ooh, vocabulary. Look at me go. Oh, that's not good. I need at least my back wheels. I mean, I lost all of my handling, but... Alright, let's find this last opponent. He's just crawling away. Just <laughs> barely surviving. Is it you? No, it's not you. You're not moving. Let's see. I'm gonna go up here on this ramp and see if I can find him from a bird's eye view. 
Bad idea. Bad idea. Oh, no. Oh, no, there he is. I found him. That was actually a good idea. All right, man. You're in for it now. Uh, except you kind of smacked me in the bottom there. <laughs> Get back here, you. I will destroy your face. And, like, also, something that's really amazing about this game is it's not just damage like how uh, BeamMG Drive was. Like, that game's driving was, eh, lackluster, I guess. But this game's driving is amazing! <laughs> it feels awesome. Like, even when you're d damaged like this, it, it feels great. Okay, so let's, let's see. Where's the dude before we spin out a million times? Where did you go? You scrub, get back here. I see your smoke trail. You can't hide from me. Well, maybe you can, but you're not... Is that my smoke trail or is that his? Is he just doing infinite donuts around me? Probably. It's probably what he's... I can't freaking find him! <laughs> Get back in my freaking stream, dude! What are you doing? Where did you go again? Why is he always behind me? I hate him so much! No! Ah! No, after all that effort, I died! No, I refuse. Look at him! He's in flames. He totally, like, wrecked at the same time I did. Oh my gosh, let's go to the garage then, shall we? Okay, so I was, like, sitting here like a loser trying to wonder how to freaking change the game mode. And it's like, you select the car, and then it's right here. Okay, so that's that's nice. Race gravel, race figure eight, race tarmac. Ooh, that's nice. Let's do this one. Let's do the tarmac race. I like it. And we will use this little car because it is very cute. And it's not the fastest, and it doesn't handle as well, and it's probably the weakest car. So we're actually not gonna <laughs> use it. Uh, we'll use this one because I, I really like the way this the uh, dry, drove and the sneak peek. So we'll not have 23, but the traditional like 11. Uh, I'm used to 12, but 11 is good. Oh, I guess I'm 12. So yeah, 12 racers and we'll have three laps. That is good. Track variant, route one, reverse. No, we'll just do the uh, route one and we will start the race. So here's an actual race instead of a derby. Uh, the derby was fun. Up until that last guy. <laughs> but I want to race. That's what I'm about in these types of games. I love racing. Like, just blistering past your opponents and being ahead by, like, eight seconds. And then your opponent gets, like, somehow a speed boost. Or you crash. And you're like, oh, no, no, no. And all of the other racers catch up behind you. It's, like, the best. I love racing games so much for those types of moments and stuff like that. So, uh, let us get to it. All right, here we are. With the epic music is playing right now. Well, not really the epic music. It's the build-up to the epic music. And here it comes. Here it comes. Oh, it's getting epicer. Is that a word? No, it's not. Epic! Yeah! See? That's what I'm saying. All right. Let's start the race. I'll see the track as I see fit as I drive. Um, this is currently the beta, so you can see the crowd there is made of cardboard cutouts. But that's fine, because we don't care about the crowd right now. We care about the actual game, and I just got obliterated. It's okay. It's okay. My car is still in pretty good condition. The front is dented. Like, hecka dented. It costs you thousands of dollars in repairs in real life. But it's okay, because we are playing a video game and not real life. And this is why. I keep pressing shift instead of space to drift by accident. So sorry if the freaking flickering and spazzing you out spazzing me out too all right this is awesome i am uh, <laughs> this is so much fun the sense of speed is amazing uh-oh 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 i ah, know <laughs> what the heck why would you just put a random concrete barrel there like why would you take man hours and get out of my way you scrub yeah that's right why would you waste like man hours of building to just get a concrete freaking two. Oh, maybe that was a well. That's probably it. Alright, drift! Drifting is a little bit finicky, but once you get the hang of it, I'm sure it'll be awesome. I mean, it's awesome! It's like, the game is weighty. It feels like what I'd imagine a real car to feel like. I haven't actually driven a real car, aside from, like, taking the wheel in my sister's car in a parking lot once, and then, like, going three inches and slamming on the brakes as hard as I could because I was just scared. But, um, <laughs> I imagine this is what a real car would feel like. Crap! <laughs> Gosh dang it! No! Get out of my way, dude! You are not supposed to try and crash into me. That's not how racing works. If this was Gran Turismo, you would totally be deducted points right now. Okay. Let's go past this. You see, once we're damaged up and dinged up, handling it gets a lot worse, which is bad for me. So I want to try and avoid as many dings as I can. I am currently in 10th out of 12th place, and that's pretty abysmal. Uh, so, I'm probably gonna lose, but that's fine. 
I just wonder how the AI does so good. Because, like, in the freaking, uh, in the tech demo, they were bad <laughs> at everything. I'm trying to shortcut, but the grass slows you down a lot, as it should. Uh, so let's get back on the tarmac. Oh, let's get back on the tarmac. Don't talk no smack, because that ain't right. Ugh, darn it. I lost my rhyming streak. I wonder if E repairs you. No, it doesn't. Good. Okay, because <laughs> I didn't want to cheat. I was just checking. Has E repaired you in the, the tech demo? All right, so let's go. We are totally 11th place right now. We're going to start getting overlapped soon. This is how bad we're doing. Okay, we can recover. We can't recover. No! <laughs> Come on. Okay, I need to learn to take it slow and take it easy. Because on these corners, these corners are vicious. Uh, because I am damaged and I don't have good handling. So I need to slow down, slow down and take them like how I should. Because I can't really turn. Uh, because drifting doesn't even work anymore because my car is so badly crashed and wrecked. Oh, look, it's the pack. I can actually see them. All right, let's not get ahead of ourselves, Beanie Bum. We must slowly approach the pack. You see, the slow and steady thing is what's getting us to the pack anyways. So we're catching up. Right now, we are the Omega, but soon we will be the Alpha. Or is it the other way around? I don't know, but it's okay. Because, no, 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 no. See, it tricks you with the straightaways, and then they give you a turn like that. Ah. They always do that in racing games, and those always mess me up. There's always one turn in racing games that just gives me the heebie-jeebies. Always. Uh, ooh, I took that like a champ. Did you see that turn? That was great. If I keep this up, I'm going to catch up in no time, but I think... Oh, uh, yeah. It was the last lap. Gosh! Dang it! I imagine here there's going to be some sort of losing ending music once the game is finished. But, for now, we shall retry! Okay. We got this. And we don't need music. We just need to enjoy the sound of the awesome motors and revving. Don't crash into me. This is what you get last place. You damage your car right off. Holy crap. I just avoided Bumblebee's giant wreckage. Okay. Let's go this way. Since I only have to use my left hand because I'm using keyboard controls, which are outstanding for a racing game. And it feels amazing with keyboard controls. I'm not using a controller because controllers are something that I just don't own. <laughs> but uh, uh, I'm only using one hand, and what I was going to say is I'm doing all these crazy hand gestures with my right hand, which would normally be on the mouse. Uh, doesn't really matter since there's not a face cam. Maybe I should do that. Maybe I shouldn't because face cam is stupid. Okay. <laughs> we are actually doing good. We are in fifth place. This is actually looking up! The turn! The turn! The turn! Yeah! No! Don't crash into me, you scrub! I was just about to take that properly! Oh, now you're ahead of me, and now I'm mad at you. I would, in a normal game, crash into you and wreck you like a burnout. Look at that car! He's like <laughs> half the size of that he normally is. Normally, that guy that's three places ahead of me. I would just crash him as hard as I could, but I don't want to do that in this game because the cars actually take damage uh, instead of normal racing games where you can just like slam into other cars as hard as you possibly can and you're fine. Nuh-uh, that's, that's not, you gotta race like you actually would race in a real life situation. And that's what I love about this game because not only does the, the, the uh, driving feel super heavy and meaty and awesome. Uh, God, you have to actually take it seriously, too, if you want to win. Uh, and that's great. I hope there's an online... <laughs> that's... Did you see him? He just went straight into the wall. Why would you do that? Um, but hopefully an online is implemented in this, and that will separate the good players from the bad players. This game is definitely not, like, a, a casual pick-up-and-play game. You gotta get into it. And you gotta actually try really hard. Like right now, I'm wearing my try hard pajamas, which are actually my normal everyday wear of jeans and a t shirt. But nonetheless, right now, they are try hard pajamas, and I might not be sleeping in them, but it's the thought that counts. So we are going to step taking this turn like a boss. Exactly. Lost speed, but I would have lost more speed if I crashed, and in the long run, I would have done like bad. My back left wheel is looking kind of exposed, uh, so I'm kind of worried about that, and my handling is getting really stiff and bad right now. Bumblebee is really annoying me, and I dropped from 5th place to 8th place. Uh, so this isn't looking up right now, but, you know, it's always darkest before the dawn, as Rise Against would say, and that's usually true. It is. God, dude, get out of the way, unless you're, like, talking about it as if 
you've been inside of the dark for a while, and therefore your eyes have adjusted, so, like, and maybe it's a full moon, so it's not always dark as before the dawn, but it is! <laughs> so, anyways, we've moved up a place to position 7, and I think we can get back to position 5. I think my goal for this video will be to get into third place, maybe fourth. Get, get out of here, you green car! Go back to Twisted Metal, no one needs you. Okay, dude. Ah, oh, eighth place. That's not that bad. That's an improvement from 11th, definitely. 11, 10, 9, 8. Three places ahead. Okay, all right, we're going to have one more go, and then I think I'm going to conclude the video. But if you haven't bought this game already, why are you not buying this game? And that car always slams in, and then this car is going to slam. It's very, uh, you can tell that there's certain drivers with certain different AIs, some like to be utter jerks and ruin it for everyone, and others, like the people at the front of the pack here, like to actually race like human beings, and I just wrecked that guy super hard. <laughs> so it turns out you can't actually wreck people, but you gotta do it as if you were gonna do it in real life, and you gotta like gently tap the back of their wheel when they're on a straightaway and going really fast. This dude is really annoying me behind me because he's gently tapping my car until it's like dead. And I don't want that to happen. And this dude is getting in front of me. He's looking in his rear view mirror. He's not letting me through. That guy took the inside turn, so I'm going to do the same. The turn! The turn! I forgot about it! Oh, but I did it really good! Even though that guy crashed into me. His scrub. Learn to drive. Where did you get your driver's license? Inside of a cereal box? That's unoriginal. And I don't know where I got that joke from, but it's not mine. I just thought I'd like to... Did that guy's tire just fall off? Dude, get out of the way! No! What are you doing, Bumblebee? Get the frick out of here, you scrub! Why would you be smashing me into the wall as, as if you were trying to make me lose? I guess that makes sense. But come on, Bumblebee. I thought you were an Autobot. You're getting kind of Decepticon-y here. Oh, your deception is really making me mad here, but I am leaving you in the dust. Look at, look at that, third place! Heck yeah! Freaking, look at me go! I have improved drastically! Okay, this game has a learning curve, but it's like a really easy learning curve. Once you get used to it, like once you get used to how the game drives, and once you get used to how it drives when you're damaged, it's awesome! Like, my back wheel is the only thing that's really messed up really bad, because scrubs keep crashing into me. But I can handle it. I, I can do it. Bumblebee, I don't like you anymore. Like, there's Bumblebee from the movie in front of me, and in front of him is Bumblebee from the original animated TV show. So, like, I don't know if there's some sort of jealousy thing going on, or maybe, like, you're mad because the old one is here. But, like, I don't know, dude. In the movie, the animated movie, that old Bumblebee became the leader because Optimus Prime died. <laughs> Worst decision ever. Uh, but like in this new one, you're not even like the leader. You're just the cool person. You're like, I don't know. But like, a Jazz was the cool person, but then he got killed. Was that your doing? Did you set up a- I am spoiling so much Transformers right now. <laughs> ah, if you haven't seen the original movie. Yeah, take that, scrub! Did you see him trying to wreck me and then he freaking messed himself up and ran into the wilderness? <laughs> Nature hates you! So do I. Alright, let's catch up to Bumblebee here, because we are in 7th place, which is still better than the last lap. But I do want to get into 3rd, like how I was. Ah, my back wheel is really preventing me from doing that effectively! God dang it, tires! Get out of here! Oh, the tires slow you down. And now I have a spare tire. Nope, I don't. Okay, it's gone now. See you later, friend! I was gonna name that tire something, but I didn't get attached enough. Oh no! Okay, alright, let's see what place did I get. 7... Ah, I want to go again, but if I do go again, I know I can get, I can just keep going forever because this game is so gosh darn fun. So, I guess with that, 7th place, that is the best I have. If you can beat my record of 7th place, I highly recommend you do so. Buy the game right now. It's, uh, 30 bucks. It's in very early beta, so there's not a lot. There is the Derby, the Race, Scrabble Race. There's a bunch of different tracks right now, actually, and there's three different cars as of release of this video, and they're constantly updating the game. Uh, so I would highly recommend you buy it before the price just keeps on going up. Uh, and I will see you all later. If you like this video, please be sure to leave a like down below. Uh, it helps a lot, but better yet, please be sure to leave your feedback in the comment section because I adore it so, so much. And with that, I will see you all later. I already said that, didn't I? <laughs> Have a nice day.